Shalom. Our verse today is John 11:50. You fail to see that it is to your advantage that one man should die for the people, rather than that the whole nation should perish. As the days of Lent draw towards Holy Week, which will culminate in the Passion, Death, and Resurrection of Jesus Christ, today's Gospel reading in John 11 reveals the plan of the Jews to participate in this monumental Christ event. While their intention to participate was aimed at truncating the Christ event, they didn't know that their action will quicken this event to its perfect consummation. Their conspiracy to kill Jesus was necessary because, as Jesus says, the Christ must suffer before he enters into his glory. See Luke 24, 26. After Jesus had raised Lazarus from the dead, many came to believe in him. Because of the followership that Jesus was gaining and getting, the Sanhedrin gathered to decide on what to do with Jesus, who was making them look useless before the people by his wondrous actions. In their thinking, Jesus was a revolutionary preacher whose actions will draw the attention of the Romans. Since the Romans frowned at dissensions, the Sanhedrin thought that the Romans would come and suppress the temple and the Jewish nation under the guise of quelling a revolution. The only way to stop the annihilation of the Jewish nation, according to the chief priest, was to remove the revolutionary leader from the scene, and that was Jesus. It is better for one man to die, he says, than for the whole nation to perish. From a political and diplomatic point of view, his reasoning was proper if we examine events with human eyes. Diplomatically, the elimination of Jesus will prove to the Romans that the Jewish nation agrees with the Roman rule. If they hadn't agreed, they will not kill one of their own. Politically, the killing of Jesus will keep the Romans at bay. If the Romans are kept at bay, the Sanhedrin will continue to enjoy the exercise of power over the Jewish people. It becomes a win-win situation for the high priest and his council. Naturally, an ordinary reader will not consider the spiritual dimension of such a simple advice from the high priest. As typical of the fourth evangelist, however, ordinary events have deep spiritual implications. Even the ordinary expression of fear by the high priest was, according to God's plan, a prophetic pronouncement. Even the high priest didn't know he was prophesying. His intention was to eliminate Jesus. His wicked intention, however, turned out to quicken God's salvific purpose. Lessons for us When you plan the downfall of someone, think twice. When I'm lifted up from the earth, Jesus says, I will draw all men to myself. John 12:32. The Sanhedrin planned evil for Jesus, but God turned it into a blessing for humanity. John explained it thus. The high priest did not speak in his own person, but as high priest of that year, he was prophesying that Jesus would was to die for the nation, and not for the nation only, but also to gather together into one the scattered children of God. John 11:51. Indeed, the death of one man has brought freedom for the human race. While you may be planning to destroy someone, you may only be fulfilling God's plan for your opponent. If you think the killing of a person is the end, remember that unless a wheat grain falls to the ground and dies, it remains a single grain. If it dies, it bears much fruit. John 12, 24 Lesson 2. Don't plan the downfall of people because of your selfish desires. The Sanhedrin were afraid of losing relevance and the only solution was to remove Jesus from the picture. His presence has caused them a lot of trouble. In all walks of life and especially in politics, many people think that the only way they can progress is by removing opposition. In some states, only one party politics is practiced. When there is monopoly, there is also manipulation. Do not desire to manipulate people, but to dialogue with them. Opposition is needed in all aspects of life. This makes us sit up. When you face opposition, you tend to give in your best. 
So don't be scared of people who oppose you. They are the fire that ignites you, refines you, and brings out the best in you. Let us pray. Lord, may every evil plan against me fall within your divine plan for me, and may all those plans be stepping stones to greater heights for me. Amen.